Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to view and manage your free hard drive space in Windows 11 and then also show you how to do some cleanup if you're running out of room. So we have our default Windows 11 desktop here. So what you want to do is you want to click on the start button here and go to settings. And then from there you want to scroll down in the main system area, look for storage. And it'll do kind of a quick scan here. It'll, um, Go over your apps and features and your temporary files and show you um, how much you use, how much each one is using up. And then also if you want to click on show more categories, it'll kind of fine tune it for you. So this is just a default installation of Windows 11, so there's not much going on here. So otherwise you probably have some more stuff under mail and documents and pictures and so on. But right now it's all my files are under the system reserve apps and features and then some temporary files. Okay, so then if you could also click on Apps and Features, and this will kind of give you more app-by-app app, uh, overview of what you're using here. So, you know, this Adobe Photoshop Express is using 34.9 megabytes, and then these are, these are just Windows apps, which actually, you know, don't use too much. And actually from here, too, if you want, you could actually um, uninstall them. Some apps will have... Uh, move options, so you can move them to a different drive if you want. That's usually for Windows apps. And other ones, like for advanced options, you could do repairs and that kind of thing, or change features. Okay, so let's go back to the storage here. So now, if you click on Temporary Files, this will bring you to the uh, section where you can actually remove the temporary files. What it'll do is it'll break it down into... Um, categories of what what are found here and from there you could decide which ones you want to remove and like I said this is a new installation on a VM so there's not a lot going on here but many times I'll I'll run this and I'll find you know four or five gigabytes worth of stuff I could delete especially if you do a big Windows update you usually have a lot of stuff you could delete such as the um, old downloaded installation files for the update and so once you decide the ones you want you could just Click on Remove Files, and one thing, if you don't know what these are, you might want to either look it up or uncheck the box first, and lots of times, too, if you have stuff in your recycle bin, it'll list that here, too, so if you're the type of person who uses that as kind of like a temporary holding space and doesn't like to delete it, then you could uh, uncheck it. So once you um, have them selected, just click on Remove Files. And that was really quick. If you have a lot of files, like I said, you know, on, on your normal Windows installation that you're using a lot. It could take, you know, a good 20 minutes to delete them. Okay, so that's that. So let's go back to storage. And then there's also cleanup recommendations. And so this will kind of give you a recommendation of what kind of stuff I found if, and to let you delete it. But since I already deleted it, we don't have any recommendations. So you can check that out and see what it finds for you. And then lastly, there's good old storage sense, which kind of uh, manages this process for you so you don't have to come in here and do it manually, so by default it's off. So if you click on here, you could turn it on or you could turn it on from there. And then there's this box here where it'll automatically clean up temporary system files and app files if you want to just to run run by itself. And then here's here's what decides when it runs. So the default is to run it when you're are running out of disk space, but you could also have it run every day, every week, or every month. And then same for the recycle bin. If this is on, if you have um, files that have been in the recycle bin for 30 days, it will delete them, and you could change that to one day, 14, 60 days, and so on. And then same for your downloads folder. So a lot of people will download all their files from uh, websites into the default Windows download folder. So if you do that, then it can actually go through here and clean that out. So if they haven't been opened for more than the same time period here, it'll actually automatically delete them there. And then if you're also using OneDrive, to synchronize your files between your desktop hard drive and the OneDrive um, cloud storage. Then what that could do too is if you found some files that are, you know, meet this age criteria, it will delete them off your device, but then it will keep them online only. So you'll still have them on your OneDrive account on the cloud, but not on your local computer. So that way, if you do need them back, you can just log into your OneDrive account online and remove them from there. And so once you get these settings here, you can click on Run Storage Sense now if you want to actually run it manually based on 
the options you chose here, or you could just, you know, leave it on here and it'll run based on this first one here. So pretty simple. So yeah, so just go to the storage and let it run through and just kind of check these categories and and see how what kind of space you got going and see if you want to delete stuff uh, manually or automatically and take it from there. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.